Uh, on today's episode, I want to make some predictions for 2024. Uh, more specifically, I wanted to offer my opinion as to uh, how what, what I think is going to happen in the space of artificial intelligence in the next 12 months. Uh, so 2023 was a very, very important year for artificial intelligence, maybe one of the most important years in all its history. So artificial intelligence uh, used to be a niche in computer science, um, primarily dominated by academics. Uh, obviously, big tech was always involved in this area, uh, but the mainstream really didn't care as much. And then ChatGPT was released, and for the first time in history, everyone saw something which seemed to resemble some form of artificial general intelligence. So ChatGPT was released, then BART came along, then a flood of startups, investment, and in the last 12 months, more or less, everyone's been talking about AI, how it's going to change society, how it's going to do X, Y, Z. And it feels like in the last 12 months, there's been more discussion around artificial intelligence than we've seen in the last 10 years. If, if anything, I would say that the current AI boom uh, overshadows uh, what we saw with um, the, the big data hype around 10 years ago. So obviously investment in generative AI source, uh, and especially in the last uh, year, uh, the peak of the hype, it was probably quite easy for any company to raise investment in the space of um, AI. Uh, there are many talks about artificial general intelligence, like many conversations, uh, many believe that, like before ChatGPT, uh, many experts believed that it might take up to year 2050 and beyond to see some form of general intelligence uh, in terms of artificial general intelligence. However, now it looks like you might be able to achieve something like that in the next few years. Who knows? Um, it's all like part of, of, of the mystery and I guess the fascination with this space. And obviously regulations, right? So uh, countries, governments um, like the European Union, etc., the US, UK, they are looking into getting a slice of the pie. They, they want to demonstrate that they really care about AI, about innovation, and they somehow see regulation as, as part of this. Uh, but obviously that's also because AI is such a disruptive technology that they're really afraid of the changes that it's going to, to bring. So what will 2024 look like? Okay, so the la when ChatGPT was released, no one could have predicted it. Okay, there were very few people who were industry insiders and actually knew what was happening in that area. Even Google was caught off guard, so they didn't expect ChatGPT to be as powerful. Um, so this means that actually making predictions in, in this area is, is not as easy. However, I'll, I'll try to do my best. I do believe that uh, history doesn't repeat itself, but it often rhymes. And I think, I believe that things we've learned from the past, from other uh, hype cycles, from other tech booms, can also inform what we expect to see in the next year. So here are some of my predictions for the next year. I mean, don't I, I wouldn't say that these are the end-all, be-all. I'm not saying that this is the o these are the only things that happen that will happen, but these are some of the things that I'm pretty convinced um, are going to take place. So uh, prediction number one. AI gets commoditized. Okay, so I believe that ChatGPT and BART were only the beginning. Uh, and now we're seeing a huge influx of investment. We're seeing spin offs, we're seeing competitors. Um, and what all this means is that this is actually to the benefit of the end consumer, whether the consumer is, you know, someone who just uh, works as a coder somewhere and wants to use this as a coding assistant, or whether someone who wants uh, to, uh, I don't know, like, for example, create his or her own business based off AI. Um, so I think that we will see AI services being commoditized, uh, getting cheaper. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if, for example, in the next five years, you see, you know, the ChatGPT subscription being 20 or 30% uh, cheaper and many other open source alternatives being available in the market. Uh, prediction number two, 90% uh, of uh, AI startups will die out. So by AI startup, I'm not referring to the big ones like uh, OpenAI, uh, but I'm referring to the huge number of startups that um, popped up in the last 12 months or so doing very, very generic things. So I remember like uh, in the last, uh, because you know, a lot of my work is with startups. In the last 12 months, uh, I saw a lot of AI writers 
Um, I remember someone in my network saying they're moving from crypto to creating a social media right there. And I was a bit like, what is this person thinking? There are already at least 10 or 20 businesses like that out there, which, which I'm aware of. And the thing with all these businesses is that they're essentially a chat GPT update away from getting killed. Okay. Um, so I still think it's possible to create a successful business in this area. There's actually another webinar I created where I talk about this, but it's about finding the right niche angle technology. All right, so if you're interested in this kind of thing, just drop, just drop me a message. I'm more than happy to share some content and advice with you. Uh, prediction three, the creative industry will face an existential crisis. So I think that 90% of the jobs in the creative sector are either going to die out or they will look very different. Um, so like the screenwriters in Hollywood, they were striking. I mean, I feel sorry for these people, but I don't think there's a way around it. And actually think in the long run, some professions like musicians, actors, they, they will not be as prestigious as they are now. I'm not saying that every actor or, or musician have high status in society, but there's this uh, phenomenon in um, which was quite prominent in the last century uh, where superstars in music and, and acting, because of broadcasting, um, they had like global recognition, like people like the Beatles, for example, famous actors, things like that. I don't think that's going to be the case uh, moving forward, at least not as much, um, simply because it would be possible, for example, for me to just take a snapshot of like of my face, I'll take a selfie, and then I can create a digital avatar that looks like me and can do pretty much anything from acting movies all the way to, um, you know, song and create video clips and stuff. Obviously, that's not going to happen necessarily uh, maybe over the next year. So maybe this prediction is very aggressive. So maybe this 90% of the jobs is going to be more of a, you know, prediction for what we're going to see in the next five to 10 years. But definitely in the next 12 months, uh, this space will realize that there's not as much future uh, and they're probably going to start, um, you know, pivoting to something else. Uh, prediction number four, uh, Europe keeps lagging behind. Uh, so the EU barely innovates, everyone knows this. Uh, and I don't think the trend will reverse, right? So in the EU, they love regulation, they love talking about it. Um, it looks like many companies, they're just now moving from the EU and the UK uh, to the Middle East, or they try to go there to seek investment um, because there's very, there's essentially a lot of money in that region and it's very tech friendly. So I do think that this trend is going to continue the next uh, year or so. So if anything, I think 2024 will be a pivotal year for AI. Uh, 2023 was a crazy year. We saw the peak of the hype cycle um, and AI broke into the mainstream. Okay, so which has been quite interesting for all of us who've been in this area for more than 10 years now. Um, and uh, I think 2024 will be a year of adoption and maturity. We also see this in my profession. Uh, I guess another prediction which probably have to make is that I think in data science and in software development in general, uh, ChatGPT is going to become an essential tool, like uh, pretty much what the calculator uh, was for accountants, let's say 40, 50 years ago. And I think that's part of this maturity process. So uh, during the peak of the hype cycle, I had people ask me whether data scientists will still be needed in the, you know, in this era of AI. And this was one of the things that indicated to me one of the signals that we're at the peak of the hype cycle because it, it showed me first of all that the people you know, coming up with these comments, they hadn't realized that what we call AI is just a form of deep learning, which is a form of machine learning, and you need data scientists to do that. Secondly, um, that the way things are going to work, at least in many in many jobs, is that ChatGPT or AI in general is just going to become a tool that will increase productivity. So the jobs are going to change, uh, like the nature of the jobs is going to change. There are going to be some fundamental shifts in how we think about employment and how industries and organizations organize certain functions. And that's really part of this process of adoption and maturity, right? So, but it's not... Um, one, but it, it, it's not necessarily um, a, a process that is going to be, let's say, destructive in, in the bad sense of the word, at least for, for most professions. Um, and I do believe that overall AI is going to have a very positive impact on the economy as well as, as productivity, which is much needed in the West, especially the, the EU region and, and the United Kingdom. Um, so these were like my predictions. Um, I hope you liked this video. I hope you liked this, this episode. 
So if you want to know more, uh, just make sure to visit the website of the Tesseract Academy or just drop me an email. Uh, that's my personal email on the screen. For those of you listening to the podcast, you can also find details in the description below. Uh, if you're a senior professional uh, who wants to know more about this space, uh, we have a coaching program that can help you out. Uh, it's still free, so make sure to join. If you're an entrepreneur or a CEO, uh, who wants to again to know more about this area just um, let us know we help uh, companies of all sizes get started with AI and in general I would be very happy to hear from you um, so thank you um, let's see what 2024 is going to hold for AI and I hope to see you again soon at some other of our episodes or at some of our events thank you <music>